Oh, let's go. That's not me having an orgasm. No, it is me having an orgasm. I'm not going to lie. Mini Malt versus Ungers. This is going to be one for the ages. A fair game, ladies and gents. A fair game. We have Russia versus Dutch. If there was a tier list created, I might actually do a tier list. I could do a tier list today. But if there was a tier list created right now, I would put these two sieves close to the bottom, if not the bottom two sieves. I mean, name a civilization worse than these two sieves at the moment. And when I say worst, I don't mean not competitive, right? Because these sieves are, and I see people do really well with these sieves. But name a sieve worse than these these two. It's difficult, isn't it? I'm not saying it's not possible, but I'm saying it's difficult, right? It's difficult, right? <laughs> Anything I touch is worse. Yeah. I'll put Simlo on the bottom of the tier list. But this is going to be a cracking game. Mini Malt, when, when Mini Malt's like playing at his best, he is like, he's top 10 player. Um, I mean, you could dispute that if you really wanted to, but yeah, he, you know, I, I've seen him go toe to toe with Kaiser Klein, uh, you know, the top players basically. So we've got him going up against Ungers, playing Zirasha, Madarasha. The important thing though is, does Ungers, does Ungers have a sense of humor, and does Ungers have the bear skin? Oh, Ungers, you boring, boring, boring old fart. Imagine not having the bear, the bear skin. Yes, it is the most annoying ASMR skin in the game, but bruh, bruh. Okay, so boo, Ungers, boo. But he's going to go for market. Is that? Is this? It is going going for market trade here. Interesting. Are we going to see more than fourteen village up? Let's take a look at this deck. No, it looks like it's his standard deck, so I doubt we'll see any fortress play. I imagine we'll see some very standard age two play here. Um, still has good old uh, Kamchatka expeditions, uh, new order regiments. So the, a lot of these cards have changed because the, you know the, a lot of the, the cards have been split. You know the the upgrade cards have been split. So now Boyers is Cav Archer, Cossack, and and Orps. And uh, to get the Strelet upgrade, you now need to have new order regiments. So that's that's the mainly what got split. So um, basically, they wanted to they they put like a, a infantry upgrade and then they put a cavalry upgrade. Um, so they split it like that, which is a bit of a nerf because Boyers 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 just it helped your age two mass right because you always had Strelets and you always had um, cavalry. So that's why it was such a good boys was such a good H2 card. And now you have to ship both these cards in order to get that benefit. So it was a bit of a nerf. But uh there were other other positive changes for Russia, such as they can now get how it is. Um, etc. So But yeah, going for the 14 Vilt. Uh if we check his uh he got a hundred XP, that was nice. Uh Minimal, Minimal. Unger's got 40 coin. Um, and he got 40 food. So he only got 40 coin. So yeah, I, I, it looks like he, he I, I believe with that 40 coin, he uh, picked up the other 100 coin. And then, because I believe Russia started with 100 coin. Um, and then probably bought 100, 100 wood. I'm going to guess that's what he did. Um, to, be in a, to, to make it really efficient to get hunting dogs. But I can't remember if they start with 100 coin or not. If they don't, then he just basically chopped uh, for it. But Mini Malt here. Uh, interesting name for the hero. I date my double cousin. Um, we do know Mini Malt is from America. Uh, he is an American player. So maybe he's from one of those back alley states. You know what I'm saying? Uh, where that sort of thing is legal. But hey, hey, we don't judge on this channel. I mean, we're toxic, but we don't judge. Okay, I take it back. We do judge. Anyways, standard age 2 stuff from Ungers here. Almost aging up. Minimal has just aged up, but that feels like a late age up, actually. Uh, or, or maybe it's just an Ungers having a fast one. I'm not, not really too sure. Um, yeah, it does feel like a little bit of a late age up. But he is going to see this Minimal, so he knows he sees this. He knows what to expect. Now, this has always been an interesting matchup. The way Dutch have always played this is they play very defensive. They utilize their banks as kind of walls so really effective walls because they're, they're they're a lot of hp they provide really good choke points and you can build some little walls and then your barracks and you, you can make it very frustrating for russia to try and dive in 
But they also have this card, which I imagine he's going to have, which he does, which is Town Militia, which has always been super effective against Russia. Because Russia units are weaker than usual units. This Town Militia card means that once that comes in, 10 villagers in your TC will one hit a Musketeer from a block camp. So uh, they will one hit one of these recruits if that Town Militia card comes in. Can we just appreciate... Blockhouse almost lost 500 HP just to a hero sieging it as it was getting built. Ah, very clever by Ungus. So he's not going to forget. So he's going to make sure he, he gets that up. Because that 500 HP, if Dutch pushes in, in in the next few minutes, that sort of thing, you know, your Blockhouse going down because you didn't repair it can be so crucial in these matchups. Uh, tiny, look at this choke point here. So he is just about going to be able to fit through, but he makes it very awkward. Uh, for the Russia player to be able to fit through. One villager going down. So that's unfortunate for Minimal. Bank wagon coming in. Doesn't have a military building yet. So he's going super greedy. He's gone for three banks plus the bank wagon. Which is the four. And where's the bad one going to come in from? Is he going to get them in time? Oh no, that's far away. Oh, it does just about go down. But is it going to take it down? Is he going to take it down? He's not. He's, he's definitely going to go up. But how much? Oh, oh, Mini. Oh, okay. Well, he managed to take about 1k. I thought it was going to be more than that. So that's not too bad. Town Militia now coming in. So he's getting a wet sweet home Alabama. Sweet home Alabama. Hey, if you're from Alabama, if you're from Alabama, all right, and you date your double cousin, you you do you, man. All right, you do you. We, we're not here to judge. All right, we're not here to judge. Anyways, Town Militia now coming in. So going super greedy, going for four banks. And then now going to rely on Town Militia to basically do all the dirty work for him. So he's not going to bother to make any units. I presume he's going to want to try and get into the Fortress Age here. He does have the ability to go for another bank and he does. You're so disgustingly greedy, Minimal. Instantly putting people into his TC. Um, I imagine he's going to start hitting these Musketeers. And look, look at these Musketeers. Boom. One hit, you go down. Boom, another one going down. And essentially, by killing the Musketeers, you're killing the Siege capabilities. So once once Minimal, uh, sorry, once Ungus has no viable Siege, like, he's just going to be able to camp in his TC all day and his banks will stay up forever. So I think he's got a church down interesting as well. So he's going to get a lot of XP, but maybe we're going to see 700. He doesn't have 700 food in his deck. Interesting. He does have Irish Musketeers. Uh, Irish Brigadiers, sorry. Um... Looks like he's not really going for it. Is he going for the Fortress Age? I mean, maybe he's going to try and just put everyone on food and uh, try and get there. Uh, 100 XP coming in. Going for the wood. I, I don't know what the wood's going to be for. I mean, he's, he's at max banks at the moment. I imagine we're going to see the church for the, um, for the church card. Which he does have. So he does have religious freedom. He does have Bosniaks. Maybe we could see like a... And I've seen it before, and it's so beautiful when it happens. We Maybe we'll see, like, a um, a Red Lancer. I think that's what they're called now, the Red Lancers. Maybe we'll see the Stradiots, but I think they're called Red Lancers. So the Red Lancer plus the Bosniak pop at the same time. It would be beautiful. And it would be it would be so, so difficult for, for Russia to deal with. Uh, they would have to... They would, I don't know how to deal with it. They'd need, like, just so many halberdiers. Um, Church going down for Ungers as well. Looks like he kind of just had a load of spare spare wood so he went went for the xp uh he's, he does have he does have the uh stagecoach for two tp so that's gonna be nice he's definitely gone for eco interesting so he's gone for a priest gone for a priest um i i like this just really clever play here so he has three cossacks one on four hp one on 36 hp and one on half hp so as a resource value it's not even worth one cossack but now for a church and a priest, which cost 100 gold, he's going to be able to fully heal all these Cossacks. So it's just the, the tiny thing. Like, Ungers, you are such such nice play, man. So nice, so nice. Like, really, really, really good play there. So it looks like he went for five Cossacks, 700 wood, 600 wood. Uh, not gone for 700 wood. Interesting. And is now going into Fart uh, Fortress Age. Going with the Exile Prince, which is pretty standard. You essentially always want to go with the Exile Prince. Like, it's it's always, like, aging up fast is just always better than aging up with units, right? If you have the ability to age up fast, you, nine, nine times out of ten, you always age up fast. Okay, so Angus is going to be going up. He does have almost two cards, so that's really great. Uh, what's Mini's plan here? Bosniak's coming in. 
couple of houses going down. So that's going to be what the 600 wood was for. Bosniak's coming in. He doesn't have the church card in yet. Okay, so he is making units. So going for the retin. Rujas, which he's going to be able to just about get. Oh, look at that. Perfect timing. Just squeezed in those veteran routers right now and he has a good timing right now he has a really good time now double double uh, stable from ungers interesting Commando. confident about his stagecoach eco then but yeah it looks like that mini malt's going to want to make the play here but he's stacking a lot of food stacking a lot of food still on five banks he's not able to increase that limit unless he goes for the religious freedoms card Unger's doing a little bit of cheeky scouting. I love this recruit here. If we look at Unger's, look at this. Look at the look at the scouting, um, the information that this is providing him. Just that one musketeer. <laughs> you know, uh, the moment anything attacks that, he'll see exactly what type of unit he's making. And I think the double stables coming in here for because he's, he's he he must know. He saw the church. He must be worried about the, the Red Lancers. He's seen his deck, no doubt. He knows that there's Bosniaks in there. So he's definitely worried about the, the heavy cavalry um, overpowering him here. Um, not a massive mass, but a pretty decent mass there. It's going to be difficult to take that on. It's going to... He does have um, these, uh, what do you call them, cavalry archers. So that is, that's, that's definitely nice. Unger's moving over here, but he doesn't see anything. Oh, but he saw Bosniak! For a split second, did he see it though? Did he see it though? Oh, that would have been close. Using his musketeer now to harass this, uh, harass this um, herd over here. Just great play with one musketeer. Just, just really one musketeer being really important there. Hiding his Bosniaks, Minimal. Hiding his Bosniaks there. He might not have seen that Bosniak. He might not have seen it. So at the moment, there's a possibility he only knows that there's only routers out right now. So Minimalt knows he needs to try his absolute hardest to hide them. Minimalt going for, for Hazars as well. So getting the veterancy in. Going for cavalry combat. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he, oh, I think he would have seen the Bosniaks there as well. I think Ungers, if he was playing smart, would probably back up here. I mean, cavalry combat's come in, and look at these Bosniaks now. 633 HP with 51 guarded attack. And if, as long as they're not running around like headless chickens, as long as they start getting the stab in there, they're going to be doing so much damage, even against cavalry. Bosniaks, please just start attacking. Just use attack moves. They're running around, not doing anything. Losing so much time for the Bosniaks there. One of them got to silver, but went down. One of them's got a bronze promotion, a silver promotion. Who hitting these strelates? He's got a gold promotion now. But are these just not enough stuff? And the Bosniaks were just running around, not doing anything. Oh, God. Oh, God. Just use the attack move with them. Look, almost one hitting strelates. Almost one hitting strelates. Insane. Now looking really good for Ungers. Quantity over quality here. Having to retreat to berries, which obviously gathers slower than herds. Massing rooters, but was that his timing? Was that his timing? Because, uh, you know, was 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 cavalry combat worth it? I feel like if he, if he just shipped, right? If he just shipped religious freedom, and as soon as the card came in, 10 more seconds, and he, he could have easily got 1k gold because he's got five banks right now, right? Imagine five red lancers instead of cavalry combat there. It would have been over. It would have been over. We didn't know. We didn't see it. So cavalry combat is is the play. Two Falconets now coming in for Ungus. So the Bosniaks, he's got the Bosniaks out of the way. So so Ungus is going to feel much safer now sending the two Falconets. So smart play there. This bank looks like it never got um, healed up. So one bank's definitely going to be down by the looks of it. Some nice raiding going on here from the, the Rooters. Arroita. One veal going down. Could have got that second one, but decided not to. Not going to find much else. Unger's looking pretty tidy right now. Now, if he can get, if he can get t a batch of 10 Hazards, that would be great. But it, it doesn't look like he's going to. 
I could market trade for some food, but again, maybe six or seven, maybe eight is the best he'll be able to get here. Six, seven. Okay, got a batch of seven. Not bad, not bad. Oh, and these cannons being left unprotected. The Hazards are going to be able to get a connect on there. The Rouges are going to be able to do damage from the back as well. And these cannons essentially aren't going to do anything because he doesn't even he didn't even have to prioritize them other than uh, damaging the buildings. There's really not going to do any damage to the cavalry here. And this is looking really good. These veteran Hazards with cavalry combat, 432 HP. The, the Cossacks are just going to get melted because of the Rooters. And then there's only Strelets left. And yeah, I mean, they don't have great range. So they're going to struggle to kill the Rooters. And maybe Cavalry Combat was the better option here. Does have to dive in against two Blockhouses. Which these guys, you know, 30, 30 range attack with Multipliers versus um, Cavalry. Going to need a decent mass to take that down. And I, I, Ungus is going to be in the, you know, kind of in, in the point where he's got double stagecoats, 45 villagers you know he's gonna be able to just pump units out and just be as annoying as possible splitting his cab for the raid which i really like but unfortunately he he, he got the wrong split uh wanted the bigger split for this side but regardless he's gonna pick up a couple of villagers gonna deny these villagers any resources so wasting villager seconds so that's gonna be pretty nice pretty nice diving against these veteran cavalry and just a batch of 10 cavalry just coming from nowhere and that's gonna halt this tempo here and there's he doesn't have anything to counter that's the problem with this kind of uh router hazard mass that there's, there's nothing that, that hard counters cavalry archers some nice raiding going on here as well using these villages to bump down the cavalry archers one surviving on one hp doing some good harassing some good raiding he's these he needs to do something about these stagecoach it's basically been in you know in in play the entire game Strelet combat now coming in. 20% hit points and damage for Strelets. So now they really will be a force to be reckoned with against these Rooters. Minimart on the other hand. Still pumping those Rooters. Mixing in some Skirms now. Kind of get it. feels like he's getting a little bit desperate. Okay. Plonking a load of houses down. I mean, what, how many banks is he on? He's only on three banks now. He hasn't hasn't replaced those two banks that were taken down. Uh, he is losing a few villagers, though. There's a couple of strats going down there. Um, so, some nice rating. The scores are equal, which generally means if you're equal score with Russia, you're probably in for a bad time because Russia tend to overscore. Uh, sorry, Russia underscore, not overscore. <laughs> Look at this priest. So this priest that he had from earlier, uh, healing those Cossacks, he used, he looks like he was using to heal these villagers. Really nice, like four villagers going down there. That was kind of insane. Uh, but using that priest to uh, heal the villagers that are getting raided. So just, just you know, not forgetting about them. Really, for 100 gold, like, just look at this. This this priest is healing these villagers over here. Really, really nice. Uh, not Decent battle going on. You, these skirmishers are hard counting these uh, veteran cavalry archers, which is really nice. And they came from a shipment, though. So he's not going to have that many of them. Rooters beat cavalry archer. I don't think they do, do they? I don't really think they do. And even if they do, they're not a hard counter. They're not a hard counter at all. Um, and that's the problem. Um, he doesn't have a hard counter to cavalry archers outside of these, these eight skirmishes from one shipment. Cossacks coming in, but is, is Cossacks what he wants? Uh, I mean, uh, outside of raiding, I mean, I, I feel like cavalry archers would just be better. No hazards right now, though. These veterans are pretty good, but not sure where the plus one HP is from the Strelets. 90 plus one HP. Interesting. Um, maybe that's from the Strelet combat, right? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, because 20% of 9 would be rounded to 1, right? Um, well, it should be rounded to 2, but it looks like it's not, not counting up. So that's that's interesting. It should be 92, surely. Anywho. So, so winning the mass, really, and, and cavalry combat, you know, being really effective here. Now the religious freedom's coming in. Hallelujah. Still only on three banks, though. Hello. Gold mine almost gone there, and there isn't really another safe gold mine around. Does have one here. Utilizing his hero now, 628 HP. That's a 
for uh, for someone who dates their double cousin, that is a lot of HP. Don't forget that they can also make envoys as well. So if you're in a big fight and you've got your hero in the in the in the midst of the battle, you can just just quickly build these envoys and they have they like don't envoys have like 200 HP or something? So that, that's a lot of HP. That's like a thousand HP that they can potentially tank in a big battle, which can be all the difference. So I I really do like that change. I really do like that change. And um, for 50 wood, that's a lot of HP to tank. <laughs> this priest has had enough. This priest has had enough. He's like, right, get out of, get out of here. Getting killed for his loyalty, though, unfortunately. Not every day you see a priest punching cavalry. But this is Age of Empires 3. This is what we like. Score's still close, though. Score's still very, very similar. Uh, Red Lancers coming in. They are. Look at these beauties. Look at that reskin. That burgundy outfit they've got on. Oh, it looks like my blazers from when I, when I went to secondary school. But they do look handsome devils, I have to say. That reskin, beautiful, 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 beautiful. And look at these stats. Look at these stats. These multipliers versus infantry. Excellent. Looks like they're kind of looking for looking for some villagers. Um, he's going to realize that there's there's really nothing on this right side of the map. Um, could be a batch of ten hazards. Okay, we're going to see five hazards. Not bad, not bad. Um. But yeah, just looking for villagers because these guys are going to be insane for raiding. Like 64 guardian attack. Uh, he does see it though and he's going to run away. Doesn't want to meet these cavalry archers and I hope we don't waste these red lancers. Because they could have been coming in for a really nice flank there. Is Minimal going to see the cavalry archers? He is now. Yeah, definitely going to have to run away. He's going to lose one almost instantly. And these guys are very expensive. Fight going up here now. So the cavalry archers have had to run back. So as a response, he's just diving into the forward base. Uh, I really like that response. Another six veteran hazards coming in. The red lance is going to be running around. And he could see a big batch of villagers there if he catches it. This is this is a great game. I, what did I tell you? Some Orpenix getting made. Interesting. It looks like he's going to be wanting to do some raiding. And it looks like Ungers is going to see... He does see when the stage coach goes past, he's gonna see the villagers on that gold mine. So that's probably what the orps are being made for. Where are the lancers? Okay, does have still have five left. A few of them are on about half HP though. Big fight going on down here now. Red lancers just running around being really super annoying. And a lot of the cavalry archers are being distracted, and that's gonna give the perfect opportunity for Minimalt. To pounce on his army here. But there no more hazards. The lancers need to come in. But the lancers are going for a raid instead. Oh, and they're going to melt these archers. Look how super annoying it's being. This is great micro and APM by Minimalt here. But it's just, again, at this stage of the game, Russia just so strong. He's trying his hardest to hurt the eco. But he's on, still on 55 villagers while Minimalt is on 38 with three banks still. Yeah, still only three banks. Deciding not to rebuild his banks. And he's getting trapped here. Looks like that's going to be the end of the Lancers. Now having to go over to onto this gold mine. And yeah, Ungers is going to see it all. Building a blockhouse down here. It's looking real sketchy right now. Look at this. Finding the weak villager. like Absolutely beautiful. Using that alt button. Killing another villager. <laughs> This is insane micro by, by Minimal. It really is. But look at this. Getting desperate now. Having to ship eight halberdiers. Um, not really sure there's anything worth sending. I mean, three, three Azars would be okay because they are veteran. Um, but yeah, there's not really too much else for him to send. Could go for a thousand wood and rebuild those banks. That would probably be his best bet. But it's, it's, it's almost like he loses so much tempo if he tries to do that. And that's exactly where the Orps are going to want to go. And look how many villagers are there. 15. And there's nothing to protect them. The Rougers are trying to run back. Looks like it's Unger's turn to get a raid. And these guys, look at this. Three times multi. 75 damage they do versus villagers. Halberdier's going in. Now going for an artillery. So desperately going to try and go for that kind of anti cav sass artillery comp. But I don't think it's going to be enough. And the score's 6k difference right now. Yeah, getting 
getting a little bit desperate. The the army is on top of this artillery, and as soon as it pops out, the the veteran cavalry archers are just gonna pop on it. Free though, getting built. Can he do enough damage to the strats? Does Unga see it quite quickly? Could have been quicker, but that's not too bad. And uh, not a great first volley. And there's the GG. There's the GG. What a game. What a game. Taking these two banks, taking these two banks down, I think was was the 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 point where Unger's just kind of won the game from there. And Minimult tried, but losing those two banks just deleted his kind of eco there and his tempo. And I think that definitely cost him. I feel like uh, Minimult could have actually gone for industrial there. It feels like there wasn't that much pressure and he definitely could have gone for industrial. Um, and then we could have maybe seen like uh, two heavy cannons with Bosniaks and red lancers, you know, and seen some crazy, crazy build there. But uh, yeah, well played. Unger's showing why he is currently ranked two in the game.